You've heard of Beijing. You've watched Shenzhen rise, but the city quietly powering China's next leap is Hefei, where particles are trapped in glass, deals are inked over karaoke, and dreams run hotter than real estate. This isn't a detour; it's the blueprint. Hefei, a city in Anhui Province, is becoming a hub for quantum computing research and development. The University of Science and Technology of China is at the forefront of this effort. Welcome to China in Five. China has 707 designated cities. This is the first. Each week, we profile one through a deep dive article, a documentary, and sharing findings throughout the week on social media. We begin in Hefei, capital of Anhui Province, and one of the most misunderstood engines in China's innovation system. Here, 1,400 years of experimentation in governance, warfare, industry, and science converge. This is where China runs simulations for its future. Layers of discovery, historical background. Hefei's story begins around 200 BC as a Han Dynasty garrison guarding grain routes. It gained military fame during the Battle of Hefei, when Cao Cao's forces repelled Sun Quan. The Ming era added walls, sluice gates, and trade canals. By the Song Dynasty, the city had formal tax archives, basin irrigation, and proto-grid planning. In the Qing, Hefei gained stature as the birthplace of Li Hongzhong, architect of the self-strengthening movement. But modern Hefei was shaped by two 1958 events: the relocation of USTC injecting elite research, the collapse of grain quotas, which turned Hefei into a pilot zone for science-led recovery. From these roots, Hefei became China's innovation sandbox. Power and governance. Hefei runs on a trinity model. Power is shared between the provincial government, USTC, and state funds. Scientists shape city policy, control land, and hold equity in spin-offs. Case in point: In 2008, USTC vetted Bo's screen tech. The party allocated land, and the city fund took majority ownership, birthing a global screen leader. Today, this same model powers Hefei's growth in quantum, EV, biotech, and AI. In Hefei, governance doesn't follow growth; it designs it. Smart solutions. Hefei doesn't replace; it retrofits. Transit here layers autonomy, emotion, and history. There are maglev bike lanes, drone corridors, and a R subway platforms, made here from artillery steel bicycles. To AI chips, Hefei's factories evolve. Three pivots define its rise: Eiffel Tech. Voice AI from USTC Labs, NIO rescued with seven billion yuan in city capital, BOE now the number one global LCD panel maker, surpassing Samsung, backed by City Equity and USTC vetted IP. These weren't accidents; they grew from the Hefei investment portfolio. Here, innovation is manufactured from molecule to market. Face of the city, Guo Yongwei, the physicist who helped launch. China's nuclear and aerospace era, and gave his life protecting its secrets. His statue still stands at USTC, where science is remembered as sacrifice. Wealth giants. One, Liu Qingfeng, the professor who gave China its voice, worth 2.5 billion. Liu founded Eiffel Tech in 1999 as a voice recognition startup by Liu Qingfeng and his University of Science and Technology of China lab team, and by 2013. Eiffel Tech was burning cash. Its speech tech seen as a niche tool, overshadowed by Silicon Valley giants. A failed push into consumer hardware, voice translators left it scrambling for relevance. In 2015, Anhui's government declared Eiffel Tech a national AI champion, funneling $450 million in R&D funds to out-innovate Google and Apple in Mandarin AI. The bet: China's voice must be built in China. The turnaround in 2018, Eiffel Tech's AI surpassed human speech recognition, blacklisted by the U.S. in 2020. It became China's AI champion. Today, its voice tech powers 70% of China's market in phones, schools, and hospitals. Two, Cao Rengsheng, the Sun King of Hefei, worth 2.1 billion dollars, founded in 1997 in Hefei as a small renewable energy lab. Cal built SunGrow into the world's number one solar inverter company, 30% global market share, while resisting pressure to relocate to Shanghai or Shenzhen.
For 27 years, SunGrow has powered China's solar revolution from its Hefei headquarters, employing 6,000 locals. This proved that you don't need coastal glamour to dominate green tech. Now supplying one in three utility-scale solar projects worldwide, pivoted to energy storage in 2015. Now a $1 billion division, making Hefei a hub for solar storage synergy. Li Bin, founder and chairman. Neo EVs, worth $1.9 billion. By late 2019, Neo was bleeding cash, losing $6,000 per car sold, with shares down 90% from their IPO. A botched recall of 4,800 ES8 SUVs. Failed Beijing bailout talks left Li Bin scrambling. On the brink of collapse, NIO got a lifeline from Hafei in 2020. $1 billion for 24% equity, plus land and tax incentives to move its headquarters and main factory to the city a bet that would redefine both NEO and Hefe's future. From near bankruptcy to billion-dollar rebirth, Li Bin's NEO didn't just survive. It rewrote the rules of China's AV revolution, with Hefe's gamble as its secret weapon. 4. Wu Shenming, Hefe's display dynasty builder. Worth $1.5 billion. As chairman of Bo Technology, Wu Xinming transformed Hafei into a global display powerhouse. His factory alone produces one in five smartphone screens worldwide, quietly enabling every major brand from Apple to Xiaomi. Hefe's playbook was simple. In 2008, they lured Bo from Beijing with land grants and tax breaks, built China's first sixth-generation LCD plant during the 2009 financial crisis and today run the world's most advanced flexible old lines, transforming the city into a display technology powerhouse. When you check your phone today, there's a 20% chance you're seeing the world through Hefe's eyes. 5. Han Jin, Hefe's invisible mogul, while flashy tech CEOs grab headlines. This low-profile industrialist built a $1.1 billion materials empire from Hefe. His company Anhui Goofeng supplies critical chemical components to factories across China and beyond. Founded during China's 1990s manufacturing boom, Han Jin's empire survived repeated industry crashes through ruthless vertical integration, proving traditional materials manufacturing could still create billionaires in Hefe's tech-dominated economy. Five billionaires, one unassuming city. Their collective journey, from near bankruptcy to global dominance, isn't just about money. It's about Hefe's bet that the future belongs to those who build, even when no one is watching. It's an unshakable belief that the next global giant could rise from an unassuming workshop in Anhui. Moments that matter. A flavor that grounds you. In Lujiang Road's alleys, Tangyan dumplings are still hand-folded, or shaped by robotic arms trained on grandmotherly gestures. These 600-year-old recipes now live in computer vision models. But the taste remains. Sesame, peanut, sugar, glutinous rice. Here, automation doesn't erase tradition, it remembers it. Where you'd stay, UST Silicon Valley Hotel. They may offer you a two-week stay to experience Hefe's innovation ecosystem. Just don't be surprised if your room is cleaned by a robot. This is a city where even hospitality has gone high-tech. Nature's Code, Keahu Lake, Asia's fifth largest freshwater lake, is now a sensor-rich ecosystem. Birds are tracked by radar towers. Fishermen use quantum sonar to find sustainable catch zones. Ancient songs now flow alongside AI-suggested routes. Hidden Haven, the Three Kingdoms tunnels, once bomb shelters are now tea houses. Brewed with Ming aquifer water, tea flows among stone walls laid 1,800 years ago. Here silence is sacred and time like tea steeps slow. Urban Spectacle Festivals, when the city breathes fire and memory. Every summer, Hefei transforms. It's called Dragon Week, a riot of racing boats, drums, and smoke. From high-tech labs to rural ponds, the city stops to paddle. Engineers, farmers, students, all racing dragon boats as fireworks light Swan Lake. It's more than tradition. It's Hefei's reset button where the future pauses and the past roars back to life. Unwinding in the city. At night, Hefei engineers rest. Keohu's fireworks sink with brainwaves. Think red, the sky turns crimson. This is nightlife tuned to recovery. From quantum labs to dragon boats, Hefei reminds us, the future isn't found, it's engineered. Next stop, 
Zhang An, China's most audacious urban experiment. Since Xianzhen. Let's meet again next week.